teaching San Jie Dao one element at a time. Okay, thanks for uh, watching our webcast, uh, San Jie Dao webcast phase one series. Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to work on another variation of double stick combination, uh, different types of variation that we work on, uh, tuck, overhead, uh, parallel, open, uh, half tuck, uh, you know, alternate holds, high hold, low hold, and so on and so forth. So, but today we're going to work on um, <clears throat> open type of uh, combination, but it's more of a composite type of combination. I'm going to explain that to you uh, in, in just a bit. Again, always warm up your wrists. Uh, we, I've covered this uh, in other lesson. Always grab the single stick or you know both stick you know before you start training hold the stick in the middle and kind of do the warm up I'm gonna have Simu come in here so we can warm up together um, basically uh, do our uh, warm up you know you can just basically hold the stick and then just swing it and then go down a little bit down to the three fourth and then after the three fourth basically just move all the way to put the maximum weight on your wrist just go slowly eventually you should be able to do 360 or more same thing with the left uh, train your wrist uh, basically your arm you can even do swing type of we have a lot of warm-up types and when we start doing our uh, ME classes uh, micro enhancement classes is what I call it uh, when it's uh, get to the uh, stick or weapon we cover different types of warm-ups that are applicable with a single stick double double stick or even staff or pole but uh, just when we're doing our typical face class uh, stick work that's sufficient enough to just get the wrist warm up because we already warmed up doing other type of training on our face classes okay so this type of uh, combination it's a composite combination, meaning it comprises of different angling uh, that comes from different uh, modes of fighting. It's not just fighting this way, it's not just fighting down or down. So basically just the way we maneuver the stick, putting them together, I call it a composite. So from, uh, and also our footwork is basically stepping forward to our right lead neutral position, stepping back to our left lead neutral position. It's symmetrical, it's completely two-sided. Both partners are training together, so it cancels each other. It's not just half symmetrical. We're gonna get into that a little bit in the next segment of this lesson, but right now it's purely symmetrical, double sink, double stick, uh, three, three head on right, three head on left, so it's a 6K or 6 con type of composite element. We step forward, we go in with our number one. As you hit the number one, you're gonna drop the stick around and do your umbrella, come back to number two, and back to number three. So you notice there's one, two, three. One is retract, okay? One is retract, transition back to one is an umbrella, so one, two, three. We're done with right side, we'll go back to left, four, five, six. Okay, again, four, five, six. One more time, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sticks are open, I'm not tucking them, I'm not doing parallel over tuck or under tuck, they're completely open. Again, go one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, we we'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we do with the partner. Range is important. We know how far you are. You don't want to be reaching too far. Again, you don't want to be too close. Typical nominal uh, mid range of the stick. Stick is longer than our uh, feet, obviously. So it's almost kind of close to our kicking range, but a little bit farther, okay? So we go into our combination, two, three, and then we switch. Five, six, again, one, two, three. It's a good idea to count it in your mind, in your, in your head. You can even count it out loud, so you know that what number you are in. And what's the difference between one, two, three, one, two, three versus 
one, two, three, four, five, six. The one, two, three, four, five, six is symmetrical as opposed to one, two, three, one, two, three are two half side, okay? So count it out, one, two, you go slow, you, can, you don't have to hit hard. As you pick up the steam, you can go faster and faster. Another type of 6K, now this is all high. We didn't do any standard, meaning alternate high and low or all low. This is all high hold or heaven hold, a high hold with the tip is facing up above the horizontal line. Another type of composite type of combination, we add a little bit, so it's the same thing that we just did, except we're gonna add a tuck to it, we'll go up to eight, four, four, for right side, for left side. See how that goes. So we go do the same thing, one, as I'm doing my umbrella, I start tucking. See it here? One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Again, we step forward, one, as I'm doing an umbrella, this hand tucks, get it ready, okay, for number three, two, three, four, switch lead, we do the same thing, five, as I'm doing an umbrella, six, seven, eight, okay, switch back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you notice we start open, we enter open, but we start getting into the tuck mode as I do the first hit to my umbrella. One, two, three, four, again. So I start one, I start after the hit is hit, done, start tucking, two, three, four, five, I'm still open, I start umbrellaing, six, seven, eight. Go with the partner. 8K as opposed to 6K, right? One, two, three, four, slowly. Five, so I hit, start tucking. K, start again, start again here. One, two, three, four, five, start tucking. K, keep going. Six, seven, eight, good, again. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One thing I want to note is as you're hitting, try to angle. When you hit one, two, or just one, two, throw the angle. You get your twisted lead. Twisted lead. We'll cover the, the leads and other lesson full detail. Parts of it here and there. But when you're hitting one, you got your right lead all the way extended. I'm hitting here. I'm hitting. As I come back, I got the second shot. Now I want to really throw the opposite hand, which is my rear side, turn that into a lead. Okay? Turn that into a lead. So become a twisted lead and then a shot forward. And the same thing on the left side. Let's do two more times. We'll go on one, two, three, four, five, umbrella, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Umbrella is basically hand is above the head. Okay, or basically just, just the elbow up, try not to drop the elbow down. When you're hitting the elbows up, it's just shelf. It, it con continues basically to go up and this wrist drops and you're going around yourself. It looks exactly like an umbrella. Covering your body to, you know, on the sun umbrella or rain umbrella, right? Hit, you drop, goes around. So this goes around, now this can be very fast and very deceptive type of move. You don't see it, but as it comes around, you pick up steam. You basically get this motion around your hand to be able to hit hard, you know, or fast, because you're picking up acceleration. So you see how the composite fits is one, it's already open, that we get into umbrella, it's another type of motion element and I'm talking that's another one so that's you got three types of elements all combined in one combination symmetrical okay practice that on your own in front of uh, the uh, the 
anywhere that you can see, you know, reflection, mirror, or <laughs> window that you can see yourself, or even in the air, just practice uh, in, a, in an open space, a very nice, uh, relaxing, but wrist, the hand, eyes, and body, feet all get comfortable being coordinated with each other, then practice with a partner. You can even start hitting uh, atom and objects, a heavy bag, a tree that there's a dead tree wrap around, you know, some towel around it to have some resistance. Okay.